there are more than two varieties of this type of defect. So um, some of which can be fixed right away and some of which can't. So we didn't know for sure how far the gap was between the top part of the esophagus and the lower part of the esophagus. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, well, and we didn't know it was pure isolated, you know, atresia, long gap esophageal atresia. We didn't know that for sure. And um, the surgeons didn't know that for sure either. And they uh, um, went in and, and, and tried to put the, the uh, esophagus together but they couldn't locate the lower part of the esophagus coming off the stomach. Mm -hmm. So at that point they realized that he had the long gap esophageal atresia um, and they sewed him back up and, uh, and, and that's when we had our complete diagnosis. At that point we knew Elliot had long gap uh, esophageal atresia. This was in Long Beach. This was in Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California, mm -hmm. a, a really um, reputable children's hospital, well known in the, uh, in the area, great nurses, great doctors. Mm -hmm.